What's up guys, Chris here. Today we are checking out the 2021 Trek Roscoe 6. So we touched on all the individual models as a group um, a few months ago. Now we're gonna actually look at them as individuals. So this is gonna be a little bit different. Each week we're gonna release a short video just going through all the specs and what to expect and hopefully giving you some kind of guidance as to what bike to pick because the way it looks, you may have to pick a bike a lot sooner than you want to. I pulled it up here on screen. We'll bounce back and forth. With the Roscoe 6 for 2021, like I said, we touched on a few things. Big upgrade from the 2020 model year is they actually have a dropper post now. A lot of people wanted it, keeping pretty much the same price range, very small increase, but with that dropper post, it really makes it a full package bike. You still get the plus size wheels, good suspension, and a wider range cassette on the back. So you don't have that one by 12, but you do have that really impressive one by drive frame with 10 gears expanded range cassette. So it comes in two colors, uh, lithium gray with Cobra blood and or the purple flip in Trek black. Um, as you can see on the screen here, they all look really good. Same colors as they had in the midsummer release. If you were lucky enough to get one, um, in the September kind of region, they started shipping them. The Trek Roscoe has been a very popular bike for Trek, really popular in our area too. So let's talk about geometry. You gotta get a little more relaxed geometry and with that, it's gonna be a little more forgiving over the bumps and over the downhill kind of rougher terrain stuff. Along with those plus size wheels, it actually makes for a very capable bike, which a beginner who's just learning out the trails, wanting something like that is actually gonna be able to enjoy. But if you're already experienced but don't want to break the bank, starting down as low as $1,000 and getting up to the $2,000 mark, you're able to get a really good bike. Those tires really absorb a lot more than they would if they were the smaller 29ers or even a 27.5 with the smaller tire on it. And that makes up for the lack of rear suspension. These have 120 mils of front suspension, so a little bit more than your entry level kind of trail bike. Nothing too crazy, but it uh, it definitely is gonna do the right job for you. So it's 10 speed on the back. It's got a nice huge range to it where you're still getting pretty fine increments until the last two, and then you get a pretty big jump, but that still gives you those nice low gear ranges. It's made with Trex Alpha Gold Aluminum Frame, um, which is really nice. So that just means it's nice lightweight. It does have Boost 141 rear hub spacing, but it does not have through axles. So that's something to consider. Um, let's go through some of the features from Trek here. Suspension lockout, has a dropout, internal cable routing, all the rack mounts and a kickstand mount. Not that many people put the kickstand mount on a Roscoe, but at least those integrated mounts from Trek are there and it is the nicest system I've seen for a kickstand by far. The suspension lockout is also kind of handy just because you've got those bigger ties. If you're just cruising around town, you can actually flick that suspension off and you can have a little faster roll. Spec wise, like I said, alpha gold aluminum frame, so that keeps the weight way down. It's actually super lightweight. Um, they mention it all the way at the bottom. You're at 34.8 pounds. Pretty solid for having such big tires. Um, a tapered head tube, internal derailleur and drop post routing, all those rack and kickstand mounts. So it has the SRS Suntour XCM32 coil spring. So it's actually a pretty respectable front shock really. This coil spring is gonna make it a little heavier, but it still works just as good as like an air suspension. A lot of people get them confused and think that maybe an air suspension is not as good or, or vice versa when actually they're pretty equivalent. You save a lot of weight and the air suspension is easier to tune than a spring, but a lot of people prefer the way a spring feels to, uh, to it. So that's kind of something. Uh, tubeless ready rims this year, which is a nice improvement. And then the Rocket Rom performance, which I'll have to double check. I believe they are all tubeless ready. They do come with a Bontrager tubeless ready rim strip in there, which is awesome. So you should be able to just buy some uh, valve stems and be tubeless if you wanted to do that. Again, for a beginner, I wouldn't worry too much about tubeless. 
you can go years without flats and at the wrong pressure and you'll be fine. You can still drop the pressure a lot lower in the, the plus size tires anyway, even with a tube. Tubeless, you will save a good amount of weight though. Those tubes are larger and therefore they weigh more. So we're seeing like a pound, pound and a half difference just by taking out those tubes. So it's worth thinking about if you wanna shave a bit of weight off it. Like I say, we're getting into a drivetrain now. So it has the Dior 4110 speed with a long cage. You need that long cage on there because it's got a big 46 tooth on the rear, 28 on the front. So you still end up with a good ratio there to keep those low gears. And essentially the higher number and ratio, the better you've got. So with this one, you're probably around the 500 ish percent, similar to what a 32 tooth with a 50 tooth on the rear and um, which is the Eagle setup. It's kind of difficult, but it's pretty much the same thing. You will lose a bit of your top speed. You're getting pretty technical though. Okay, so who's the Roscoe for? So if you're looking at this kind of bike, you're thinking, hey, I might want to be able to go across some rougher terrain, actually get into the trail riding, but I don't want to spend $4,000 on a full suspension. That's correct. This is the bike for you. It can do all that kind of aggressive terrain. It is more forgiving, more playful for jumping around in. But in that other hand, its price point is so low that even if this was your ice cream bike, it's still a comfortable upright geometry kind of cruise around bike. The plus size tires are only gonna be comfy on the road as they are and off. If you are commuting, yeah, those bigger, wider tires are definitely not gonna be as fast flowing as like a narrower one, which comes on say a dual sport or a checkpoint, but it's still a good bike for really anything, pushing more towards the off-road side of things. You got a lot of beach, sandy stuff. It's gonna do a little more of that. You can even get away with some hard pack snow trails, which is pretty awesome with that. So really the Roscoe, is the do-it-all bike now. You have a forgiving frame and geometry. You have the dropper post on all the models now, especially now being on the six. You get that one by, you're really checking off every single box that could be checked on a bike, you're getting it. The things you're missing out on are the one by 12. So those last few low gears, you're gonna jump a little bit. So, you might be in a gear too easy for that steep climb or too hard for that climb because you're missing those gears in the low range. Other downsides, honestly, I can't really think of too many. Yeah, the shifting of brakes could be faster, but then you should probably just spend more money. The suspension could be more efficient, but you probably should just spend more money to get to it. If you're looking in this price range, Overall, Trex geometry is really well done. It looks super clean. All those cables go through the frame and they route fairly easily. You get the one by, like I say, this is the bike for pretty much anyone. So definitely check it out on Trex website. Check out the links below if you wanna take a shortcut there. Trek now has Canada purchasing online, which is kind of cool. You won't be able to find a bike there but if you do, I'd strongly recommend ordering it. Otherwise, go into your local dealer and probably get an order in right away. Obviously with all the COVID stuff, you've got to kind of look at the restrictions and such, but most of them are able to sell bikes as transportation. Um, if not, get on Facebook, get messaging them and uh, yeah, get your order in because otherwise you might miss another summer. All right guys, so that's a quick one for me again. Hopefully you liked this one. We'll do a few more shorter videos over the coming weeks. Um, yeah, all right guys, good luck out there.